Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. So I've provided some numbers here over the overnight. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum is all down. It's it's plummeting right now. If we look at it here, it is. Let me see. Bitcoin's down um, to forty-one thousand four hundred twenty, and Ethereum is down to two thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Um, 10% down on Ethereum, 7%, 7 and a, almost 8% down on Bitcoin. Hive is down in the pre-market, is down uh, almost 9% down in the pre-market. Uh, pre so let's take a quick look at the numbers here for Hive. So Hive, uh, full year ended March 31st, 2021, all amounts in US dollars unless otherwise indicated. Income from digital currency mining was 66.7 million for the fiscal year, a 174% increase from the prior, but hey, that's great. Record income of 42.5 million, up significantly from a loss of 19 million, which is uh, good to see a year earlier, and 2.9 million lower than previous quarter. Uh, 2.9 million uh, previous quarter. Gross mining margin expended to 50.1 million from 8.5 million from the last year, and is 17 million higher than experienced in the prior quarter of 10.6 million. So that's all good, that's a 70% increase. Net income per share grew to 12 cents uh, from a loss of a penny during the prior year and is lower one penny from the previous quarter of December 31st. Okay, so obviously they must have been spending a lot more to build out. Let me see here, what else do we have here? Uh, just some operating expense or uh, operating Notes, obviously they changed from the four gigabytes to eight gigabytes, uh, continue to remain profitable when the DAG filing increased. They also restructured in Sweden to become a data center business with a long-term HPC strategy while remaining true to our roots as if they're a minor. Going forward, their focus is to improving efficiency and profitability across our mining operations by optimizing cryptocurrency mining output, continuing to lower costs and maximizing our existing electrical infrastructure capacity by installing new mining equipment as quickly as possible. Okay. The expansion, they, this allowed them to huddle 25,000 Ethereum, purchase new basic machines to expand their mining. Da, 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 da. Okay. So highlights, we went over the highlights here. Uh, fiscal review, uh, going over the same stuff here. All right, let's take a look at the numbers here. So the numbers, so Q4 income from digital crypto, uh, cryptocurrency mining was 33.4 million. Uh, so that's almost almost up 200% from the 13.7 million uh, from Q3. Operating and maintenance was up roughly 2.7 million to 5.7 million from 3 million. Uh, depreciation was up 5 million from 2.5 million roughly. And their gross mining margin was 27.69 million compared to 10.62 million. Gross mining margin was 83% and it was 78 the quarter prior. Gross margin was 68%, which was a nice increase here. Uh, was up 15, up from 59% in Q3. Reevaluation gain of digital currencies. So obviously the appreciation price went up so they went 10 million roughly 10 million 9.7 9.6 million up from 6.3 to 16.09 million gain on sale of digital currencies so it looks like they sold uh, 3.8 million worth of currencies uh, which was up from 1.6 hosting revenue was 410,000 compared to 393,000 so a little bit of an increase there Share based compensation was up 534,000 from 209. General expenses was way up, almost 2 million higher, 2.2 million higher. Foreign exchange gains, so they lost 367,000 from foreign exchange gains. Realized gain investment was nothing. Um, they had 6,000 from the prior quarter. Unrealized gain in investments, uh, 645,000 compared to 148 for Q3. Changing fair value of derivatives, liabilities. Um, Lost 857,000 and loss of sale of subsidiary, so 23 million there. Finance expenses was 871,000. Taxes, 151,366. Net income was 14 million from continuing operations, which was lower than Q3. And that's probably because they had a loss of sale on subsidiary. Here. 
trying to figure out what that is. We'll have to figure out what that is. Because that's obviously a huge number where they went down. Um, EBITDA is 20 million point three for Q4 and Q3 was 19.7, so about the same. Adjusted EBITDA was 29.1 million compared to 13, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Overall, good numbers. I would say pretty, really good numbers. The one bad thing is trying to figure out what the loss of uh, sale of subsidiary was, why they lost 23 million here. And they didn't have anything, obviously, pre prior periods or quarters. So, yeah. So, quick numbers looking to look pretty good. Concerning is obviously the 23 million loss there on uh, sale of subsidiary. Why they lost 23 million, I don't know. I'll, we'll figure that out, but we'll get to the bottom of it when they have their conference call at 10 o'clock today. I'll listen in on that, and then I'll provide you guys with my feedback later on in the day on it as well. Overall, good year. Uh, Would have been better, I think, without that loss there of uh, 23 million. So we'll find out what that is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Obviously, the price is down on the hive right now on the stock. Um, are we going to hit our $15, $20 mark by the end of the year this year if Bitcoin goes up to 100000 mm -hmm. Hard to tell right now. But if they continue to increase their mining capacity and add miners, I think we'll be in good shape. Obviously, we need to get Q1 report out as well for this year and Q2, which is which will be ending. Um, I believe that ended sending this month, right? Yeah, September. So that's all. That's not bad, guys. It's pretty good, actually. So I may actually pick up a little bit more shares here if I got the money to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.